From welded shopping carts to aerodynamic luge boards, competitors pushed the limits of design and daring as the box cart Intercol 2025 turned the Arima Velodrome into a powered speedway. So cart number 25 is a luge and we entered. We have a decent design, we're hoping to get um, top five. Right. And cart six is a box cart. We took two shopping carts, welded them together, um, cut, made it a little more aerodynamic. One team turned heads with a braking system no one else dared to try. Um, so we are probably the only team that are using drum brakes. So basically, in South Africa, brakes, we use drum. So you are the only team you believe that is using drum brakes. And it's, what was the thinking behind that? Um, so basically, we just wanted to like, save some money with like, scoring parts, and we came around this. The only all-female squad team in Spire proved grit matters as much as gears. Well, we were given at least like a week to build a skirt. Um, we did some minor modifications during testing. We found out it had some little mishaps, but we, we got it fixed. Um, we had to go left to go right, right to go left. Event director Andre Critchlow reminded everyone that this was more than just a race, but a classroom on wheels. This is the third year we're doing it here at the Arima Velodrome. It's almost now the official home of Boxcart. And um, we, we had a tremendous turnout here today. We have more than 14 schools registered, 120 students. And um, not all the cars pass inspections, some of them broke rules, but they're all going to compete and have fun here today. The purpose of this is to teach them the learning technique of STEM, all right? Uh, they have hands-on approach to building and testing their box cart in a racing format. All the work they do towards building their box carts can be submitted as part of their SBAs, so that again is a positive. And the day's event had some nail-biting finishes like this. <laughs> Sonolala, TTT Sports.